What is ricin? It's a highly potent poison that's derived from the castor bean, which comes from the castor plant. It's not a rare plant. In fact, it's commonly used as a decorative plant in people's homes. And countries like China, Brazil, and India grow them to make industrial lubricants. Security experts say extracting ricin from the bean isn't terribly complicated. Techniques for doing it have been disseminated over the internet. How dangerous is it? Ricin is deadly, even in tiny amounts. The Department of Homeland Security handbook says the amount of ricin that fits on the head of a pin is enough to kill an adult. But unlike anthrax, contact with the skin doesn't cause poisoning. It has to get into the body by either inhaling, ingesting, or injecting it. How does it kill you? Ricin works by getting inside human cells and killing them. It leads to internal bleeding and organ shutdown. It's a slow process that can lead to death 36 to 72 hours after exposure. Can it be treated? There's no antidote. Doctors can only try to respond with IV fluids, oxygen, and medications to treat dropping blood pressure. Has anyone died from ricin? Yes, but it's not clear how many. One famous Cold War era victim was Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov. In 1978, he died after a pellet of ricin was injected under his skin by the tip of an umbrella. Have terrorists tried to use it? Yes, here's a quick timeline of the most notable incidents. In 2003, British police officers arrested six Algerians, discovering traces of ricin and a recipe for the poison in a London apartment. In 2004, ricin was found in the U.S. Senate mailroom of then-majority leader Bill Frist. Now, mail addressed to the White House and the U.S. Capitol are testing positive for ricin. How was it made? Who sent it? That's still under investigation. That's the short answer.